Hey everyone, it's Oliver Lindley here with One Number. We're Tableau education and consulting experts. And today we're gonna to take a look at join calculations in Tableau. We're gonna start by looking at joins and then looking at the need for a join calculation. So if you feel comfortable with joins and you just wanna move ahead to the join calculations chapter, you're welcome to do that. But our join example today, uh, I've actually put together in Miro. So if you wanna follow along, it's all in the description, the links in the description, you can fire it up on a second screen, but I've also made a bunch of notes. So if you wanna kind of stop and take those in in some more detail, you're welcome to do that because we won't have time to read everything uh, in, in the example together. But what exactly are we gonna try and do today? Well, we have these two tables that we wanna combine, okay? We have a customer orders table that has a product ID, order ID, and customer ID field, and then a sales and profit field. And we have a product, we have a product master list table with a product ID and a product name. Now, what would be great is to create one single table so that I can see the product name in my customer orders table. Essentially, I can see what product was bought per row. So in order to do this in Tableau, one of the tools that I can use is a join. Okay. Now, when you're joining, you need to have the same field in both tables. That way Tableau knows how these two tables correspond to each other, or essentially how to link these two tables up on a row level. Okay, so in our case, product ID exists in the customer orders table and product ID exists in the product master list table. So that means what Tableau can see is, okay, these are gonna match. Now, the one thing to note is that it can't just be the headings that match, you know, product ID and product ID. The actual IDs need to match. Now, they don't, that doesn't mean that every row needs to be exactly the same. What it means that is that they need to be in the same format, you know. So in our case, you can see the format is P101 and on the other side, P101. So we have the letter P and then we have three digits. So this should all be perfectly fine. Now, how does this work practically? Well, what Tableau is going to do is it's going to match up every product ID, you know, depending on our join type, it's going to match up every product ID in the product master list table, which is this one, with every product ID in the uh, customer orders list. And by doing that, Tableau is going to understand how these two tables can be meshed together to create one. You're welcome to just pause it there and look at all the, the ways that Tableau is doing that. But by doing that, once we've actioned that, we can create this brand new table. So the things to note at this point is that we have the same product ID field that, that almost appears twice. You can choose which one you wanna keep. Um, now that Tableau has joined on these, uh, we have our big completed table and you can kind of tweak it as you like. So that's great. That's a successful join. But what happens if the field that you want to join on doesn't match exactly. Okay, so take a look at this instance. The column name in both is product ID, but the format of the product IDs are different, right? So on the left, we, have, we now have PID dash and then three digits. Whereas on the right, we have our old format, which is P and then three digits. So, Although on a high level, Tableau is gonna be able to see, okay, you have product ID and product ID, this should work. It's not really gonna understand how it should match up all these rows together. And that's gonna create a blocker for us. So essentially what we're gonna to need to do at that point is specify to Tableau how to match each of these rows as it goes. And the way that we do that is with a join calculation, okay? So we're gonna open up Tableau now, and we are gonna take a look at how we would do this. Now, just by way of quick recap, here is our product, here is our customer orders list. Um, let me just unhide this product ID. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is to try and join our product list onto our customer orders sheet. Now, once we drag product list into the canvas, because Tableau can see, okay, product ID exists in the customer orders list and product ID exists in the product list, we have the start of a join. 
So you can see we've got the Venn diagram up, which is great, but we just have this big blank space underneath, which signals to us that Tableau is panicking a little bit, that it doesn't know exactly how it's supposed to join product ID together. So let's double click on our Venn diagram and open this up. Now, Tableau has done quite well so far by identifying the two ID fields have the same name. But essentially what we want to do now is we need to try and make one side of this equation equal the other side of this equation. Now, a reminder, they don't equal at this point. On this side, in our data source, customer orders, we have P101. And in our product ID, we have PID-101. So they don't equal each other. How can we make them equal each other? Well, let's hit the drop down on the side that we want to edit. So the side that we are going to change to equal the other one. What I'm going to go, what I'm going to do now is to go down to create a join calculation. And essentially what I want to do is to create PID-101 for instance in this calculation. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Well, what is quite nice in this example is that every product ID starts with the same string. Okay, every single product ID starts like this, PID dash. So by putting this in quotation marks, I'm essentially saying to Tableau, if you just start every product ID with PID dash, you know, the string PID dash, you're going to be fine. You're going to be A for a way. It'll work every single time. So let's put that in as a string. Then what's the next section that I need to add in? So I'm going to put, press the, the add button. And then the next part that I want need to add in are these three digits here. Okay, so how am I going to get those? Well, if I say to Tableau, hey, just take the right um, three characters from the product ID string, you're going to get 101 or, you know, the characters that we need. Remember, our current string is this one. So the right three characters, the right, right most three characters are, is 101. So this little function means that we have created this PID dash and then the numbers exactly. Meaning that now our customer orders list uh, product ID matches the product list ID exactly. So let's press OK. And we've got success, which is fantastic. So what do we have now? We have both of our product ID fields. Why? Because we can now see the original table that it came from and we can choose which one we want to keep. So just because you've made them equal to each other doesn't mean that you need to keep it in that format. So we can see these rows are matched up perfectly. PID-103 is matched with P103. So if maybe for the sake of continuity, you know, we have OID- dash, CID- dash. let's keep PID- dash, and I'll just hide this one. And we're sorted. So that's our first successful join calculation. Nice work. Let's take one more look at another example. So in this one, I have mangled the sample superstore database uh, to create this mismatched join for us. So I'll also try and link this in the description if you want to try and practice it yourself. What we have is our orders list. And I want to try and add in or combine our orders list with our people table. So the one thing that I want to point out to you is that this northeast in the people's table under region. So we've got all the kind of major regions in the US, but this is Northeast in the people table, but in orders, it's just East. So remember, we said that when you want to join tables together, the fields need to be the same. So not just the names of the fields need to be the same, the actual fields need to be the same. When I try and join people to orders, it looks like it's been successful. Okay. What I'm looking at now is 7,146 rows, but we have an inner join. Okay. So if I change that to a full outer join, I now have almost 10,000 rows. So it was something like 2,700, 2,000, I mean, I can't remember what the original number was, rows that just disappeared. What actually happened? Well, now we've got a bunch of nulls. What actually happened was Tableau, because we had an inner join, Tableau was getting rid of all the east and northeast region uh, uh, rows because it didn't know how to join those together. So it was just excluding them. But they should actually join. They should match. So how are we going to do this? Well, 
we need to get the one side to equal the other. So in this instance, let's edit the people side to say to Tableau, whenever you see Northeast, just think East, and then, you, then you'll be able to match them perfectly. So let's hit this drop down and create a join calculation. Now, what we're gonna try and say to Tableau is, when you see uh, Northeast, think East, and then they'll join. So that is what we're aiming for. So I'm gonna say, if um, product, oh, we're not dealing with products. If region people equals Northeast, let's make this a little string. If the region that you see in the people table is Northeast, then think East. Else, you know, for all the others, then it's just the same. We don't have any errors in any of the other uh, regions. End. So this is exactly what we're saying to Tableau. When you see Northeast, think East, else region, people. So what we should see now is all our nulls should go away because Tableau would have successfully joined our two tables together uh, on this region field as it's worked out Northeast equals East. Let's hit apply. And wow, it has worked. 10,000 rows pretty much, and no nulls, which is beautiful. So this has worked out so well. So that's how join calculations work in Tableau. Anytime you have a field that you wanna join on that's not exactly the same, and you wanna edit that field to help Tableau understand how you can make them the same, you employ a join calculation. The mirrors in the, in the description, uh, these data sources are in the description. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment below um, or pop us a message on LinkedIn or reach out to us over email. We'd love to help out. Thank you so much.